A lot of people with electrical questions on uh, Facebook lately. This is your common 8-pole stator. This will fit on a 150 GY6 or a QMB 139. Uh, the only difference you may have is the 150 may have a square connector. It still uses the same wires. Now, if you are missing the ground wire on your stator, the thing is still grounded through the block by the bolt and then tied to the negative terminal of the battery. And that's why you don't have a negative, a great a ground wire. Excuse my uh, stumbling. These two wires, the red and the black, which is normally, okay, it does have black on it, uh, and the blue and the white are the only two wires you need to start your scooter. These wires, green is always ground, the white is part of your charging system. It goes up to the uh, voltage regulator or rectifier and then has a red wire that, with a fuse on it that charges your battery. The white or the yellow wire is your headlight system. This red and black wire, when you turn the engine over, should put off 60 to 80 volts AC. The blue and white will put off anywhere between 0 and 5 and it will flash because it is pulsing. And this is the pulse. It, the magneto goes past this, which is called a pickup coil, and it, it you should have zero to five volts on that. To, and basically, what it does is tells the CDI when to fire. So once again, this should have 60 to 80 volts when AC when trying to turn your engine over. Now, when it runs, it puts off 220 to 240 volts AC, but there's no amperage in it, so it will not kill you, but it will shock the piss out of you. Once again, this is still going to be zero to five volts. On the CDI, I only have a performance one. Uh, I used to be a dealer for parts for scooters, so. Uh, and I just went and got a, a wiring harness. Okay. These are the wires off the harness that go to your CDI. Okay, we're going to start with these two. We have a black and white and a red and black. The black and white is what goes up to your kill switch. And basically, when you turn the kill switch on, you ground out the CDI. Now the red and black wire is the red and black wire from the stator. These wires, green is always ground, the red and white is actually the blue and white. It is the pulse. It, it is what is receiving from the pickup wire. It just changes color code because due to the harness. But that is the input to the CDI. So it tells the CDI you know, hey, I'm ready to fire. The red and black says, I've got your power. And then it pulses and puts out a signal on the brown and yellow, which goes to your ignition coil. Now, there's your brown and yellow wire that fires the ignition coil when the CDI tells it to, or the, the, the stator pulse wire tells it to. The green is always ground, and that goes to your green connector on this, on this uh, ignition coil. Sorry for me stuttering. But that is all I'm going to tell you for now. You can check for voltages here. Uh, this will be an AC voltage. These will all be AC voltages. But the, as long as you got whatever's coming out of here, here, you should be good. Uh, like I said, you have to have this and you have to have a good CDI. But that is, as long as the engine is grounded to the negative terminal, that is all you need to start your scooters to start your engine. Well, plus, you know, the ignition have a key on and all that crap. But that is the basic electrical connection to fire your scooter. All right, thanks.